triple again, reviewing some more USB digital microscopes. The idea being that I'm doing some reviews and some walkthroughs for general entomology professors, or really any biology professor, that's thinking of having their students buy these digital microscopes because they're not going to have access to labs with microscopes due to COVID-19. So personally, I'm thinking of having my students buy these. I'm looking for an option that works well for identifying insects of various sizes to family, but is also not too expensive. The way I'm getting around sort of the cost issue here is that this semester, instead of requiring my students to buy a textbook, which is usually somewhere between 50 and $70, I'm going with open educational resources. And with the money they would have spent on a textbook, they're going to be buying a digital microscope. So hopefully, since they are biology and horticulture majors, they'll get a little bit more use out of that digital microscope, or they might try to resell them to future entomology or biology students. So right here, this is the second model that I'm reviewing. It is going to be linked in the description, and this is selling right now for $60. It apparently used to be $89, but currently it's on Amazon Prime at $60 which is right in that price range where I want it. If you go lower than that price range, there are certainly digital microscopes, but the problem with those digital microscopes is that they're really just this microscope on a gooseneck. And I find that the gooseneck ones, although a lot less expensive, they're really much harder for students to practically use and to actually focus. So I specifically wanted something that has a stand that is kind of like a stereo microscope stand. So this model right here, when you buy it, it comes in this little carrying case, which is cute, but it actually doesn't fit in here once you assemble it. So um, it does come with a little Allen wrench. So maybe when you're traveling, you can break it down and you can store it. But once you do have it assembled, it only took me a couple of minutes to assemble it. This is basically what it looks like. Uh, it's a nice compact little microscope. Uh, you'll notice that the stage is relatively small, so you can't put, say, a petri dish on here and do some sorting unless you're careful to make sure that you don't bump it off. Maybe you can put a heavy bit of tile that's a little bit wider there. Um, compared to the last model, the Celestron, this one is not as well-made feeling. It's a little bit shakier, but again, you're looking at almost 50% of the price of the Celestron. The Celestron I still think might be better for professors looking for a model to do their own videos, but you know, I think this is a better price point for undergraduate students. Um, even though it's not as well constructed as the Celestron, it basically doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. You can raise it, you can lower it, functions kind of like a stereo microscope. So this is really the course focus, and then much like all these other models, you sort of have your fine focus right here. Your light is going to be connected here, so there's a little dial here that allows you to adjust the light. There is also a couple of zoom buttons that are right here. And the really interesting thing about this model that I personally haven't checked out yet is apparently this model is Wi-Fi enabled. So if you have an iPad, an iPhone, I think this will also work with Droid phones and other phone models. There's a couple of applications from the company that you can purchase, and apparently those applications allow you to do focusing through these buttons here. Personally, I haven't bothered with that. I'm obviously using a USB cable, and it's just hooked up to my Mac right now. So a couple of things um, that I don't like about this model is that, like I said, the stage is really small. Compared to the Celestron, I'll show you in a second, this is much smaller. The other bizarre thing is they use this sort of shiny metal plastic material that is actually really bad for reflecting light. So what you're going to have to do is put some sort of neutral color on here. I used a little bit of white cardstock to basically absorb some light, but because it's white, it's a little bit too reflective. If you have a gray sheet of paper, that's probably going to be the best. But for whatever reason, the texture they put on this stage isn't all that great. Uh, other than that, a couple of features that are nice. It does come with a cover, so there's a little cover on here. Makes it nice for traveling, I suppose. Uh, the lights seem nice and bright. Cable is a bit shorter than the cable that came with the Celestron. Um, and let's actually look at these two together. So, 
Here's the model I have right now. I believe this is called the Jujion. This is the one that's $60. This is the Celestron model. It kind of looks much more like a stereo microscope in miniature. It has a much bigger stage compared to the much smaller stage here. Basically, the coarse focus mechanism is also a little bit different. So with the Celestron, let's see if I get this, you sort of raise and lower the microscope on this sort of head right here, and then you can actually raise and lower this as if it was sort of a general stereo microscope. Once you have it at the height that you want, then you can sort of go up and down and do some more adjustments that way. This one doesn't have that additional adjustment. You just kind of go up and down like this. Um, there's no sort of raising and lowering the actual head of the microscope once you're at a point. So it's one less level of refinement. However, that does give this the effect of actually being a little bit faster to use. So that's pretty much it for sort of the physicality of this thing. In the next video, I'll show you some actual insects.